Okay, guys. Um, good to hear. Good to, to speak to you. Sorry. Um, sorry, I can't appear on screen today. I've got a little bit of a problem with my um, webcam, but I'll be back on Monday. Don't worry. Um, right, we're going to go straight in with um, a starter activity. So I think you can see the questions on the board. So can you just put before you do that? Can you just in your book or hopefully you do have a new textbook or, or if you're working on paper, that's fine. Uh, can you put a title of reflections and there's the day's date um, and uh, can you I'm going to give you not long on this I'm only going to give you about four minutes so when you're ready guys uh, four minutes off you go right okay that's about time um, here we go the answers that was just to get you warmed up a little bit of decimals at the top there hopefully no no two issues with this not many issues 5.3 2.5 1 1.3 the mean, you add them all up and divide by 10, because there's 10 numbers. So for the coordinates of point D, it's a parallelogram, so it had to be there, um, which is uh, 1, 1. I suppose you could have, in theory, had it up here. There's another potential point there, but that was the obvious point. 27, because you just read up and across 27, roughly. If you've got 26 or 28, that's okay. And then 10 is about 2.2. .2. If you put 2.1 to 2.3, that's also acceptable. Okay, so what on with that? Right, now we're going to go straight on to reflections. So you've already got a title of reflections. Uh, before we start, though, we need, to, we need to know some equations of lines. Okay, we need to know some uh, useful equations of lines because we're going to do, we're going to be using these um, to help us reflect. So what I want you to do is draw an axis, hopefully a little bit better than that. If you've got squared paper, this will be really helpful. So equation of lines. Now, we, any, any hot vertical line, and we have done this before, so if we had a vertical line passing through 4, you might want to have a think about what do you think the equation of that line would be? Okay, I'm going to put a few lines on there, so I'm going to do a horizontal line passing through 3. Um, that's the second line. I'm going to do a third line here. Um, may not pass through that point, but that's that's the third line, and that's where it's every point is like one, one, two, two, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. six, six. Okay, and the final one you really need to know is this line. Just but you probably. I'm sure Doug, you'll be very good at this because of his line activity game. But this one would be like um, minus one one, um, minus two two passes through those those points, minus two two, and etc etc et So we've got those uh, four lines. We need to know the equations of those. Okay. So this line here. Let's start with the horizontal line. Any horizontal line passing through y is y equals 3. Don't get confused with x equals 3. Any horizontal one is y equals 3. So actually this line here, the x-axis, is also, also known as y equals 0. Okay, so that's horizontal lines. Vertical lines, this one, if it's passing through 4, that will be uh, x equals 4. And again, if we look at the y-axis, the y-axis could also be known as x equals zero. It's a little bit counterintuitive, um, but you know, those, those are what it could be called, and you'll see some of those in the examples you do. The blue line, when you've got x and y coordinates are the same, that is just y equals x. The y coordinates are the same as the x coordinates, so y equals x there. And then the red line, these are the only ones we're going to come across today, that is going to be y equals minus x. Okay, because again the x coordinates are the negative of the y coordinates minus one one. They're the same, but they're negative of each other. Those are the lines you need to know. So get that down, please. Uh, really important. You know those lines really fluently before we start doing any reflections. So you might want to pause the video at that point. Right, we're going to look at a few examples now. So e.g. one. Uh, e.g. One. It says mirror line reflect. So we want to reflect that in the mirror line. And these are not too uh, easy all the time. Now, one thing you can do is rotate the page. Um, 
I can't really rotate that, but you could rotate the page so the mirror line is acting down the center. The other way you can do it is get a point and count how many squares exactly it takes um, so to get to the mirror line. So this point here is exactly two diagonals. So two diagonals, I'm going to put that point there. This one, two diagonals, goes there. And this one, one, two, three, four diagonals. Count, restart from there, one. Or, and I draw it on there and then just double check with your eye that that looks about right okay so it's often the diagonal ones that cause a bit of trick a bit tricky so just make sure that you've double checked by just looking at it and does it look right okay right so that's example one you get a few of those maybe in the earlier questions uh, example two would be something like this potentially and we'll do a couple on here um, so, reflect uh, shape A in the line Y equals X. So, Y equals X, I might have to go back up to my uh, help sheet here. Y equals X is the diagonal where the coordinates are the same. So, the first thing I need to do is draw in uh, the line. Okay. So, it's going to go through 1, 1, because they're 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. And I'll draw a straight line passing through all of those, hopefully with a ruler. Now that is my mirror line, okay? So I then use that as my mirror line, and then I go to each point, that point's gonna go there, this point's gonna be one and a half, I go there, and this point is one, two, two and a half, half, two, and there we go. And we usually label that uh, A dash, that's the image of A, okay? So that's like part I. You might be asked to be asked, reflect, a in the line y equals zero okay y equals zero so the first thing you've got to do is draw that line on well if we go back up here y equals zero was the same as the x-axis okay so this is this line is already drawn on for us this is y equals zero and i can reflect it in that line quite easily uh, there we go i'm going to just label that a double dash because it's not uh, it's the second image okay so that's how you reflect a shape in a line. Now you might also have to describe a reflection. So describing a reflection. Okay. So describing a reflection, and this might say describe the reflection A to B. Okay, describe it. Now for these questions, you must say what you're doing. You can answer in bullet points. Answer. In bullet points we don't need full sentences uh, and the first bullet point is always what are you doing so in later lessons we're going to do not just reflection we're going to look at translation rotations and enlargements but this is clearly a reflection to get from A to B it's a reflection and you'd get one mark for just saying it's a reflection and then you need to say what the mirror line is so in the line and then you need to work out what the mirror line is uh, so you find the mirror line by finding the center point. So what's center point there? You draw in the mirror line, and then you've got to work out the equation of that line. So in the mirror line, that's the mirror line. So in the line, and that's a vertical line, so it's x equals minus 1. So it's a reflection in the line, x equals negative 1. Okay, and that would get you the full marks for describing. Now the, the line could be any of those that we looked at earlier in the lesson. Right, what I want you to do now is, uh, so some questions. Now, I've set you some, um, so it's on, show my homework, show my homework. Um, it's a worksheet, okay, and it is much easier if you print it out. So print out the worksheet if you can, uh, and then you can answer directly on the worksheet. If not, you're going to have to copy the diagrams into your book, which will take a little bit longer. So please do try and print out if you can or get your parents to do it. And I've also attached the answers and I want them self-marked, please. I want you to print it, print out the worksheet, self-mark it, and then upload to uh, OneNote, please, okay? Any issues, I'll be on the email, so do let me know. Um, but um, good luck with this and uh, well done again on the projects and the test. And I'll speak to you, hopefully in person, on Monday. Well done, guys.